This is a news update, Fin for Live TV, September 2nd. I'm Margot Dudkevich. This evening, the IDF will award medals and citations to individual soldiers and units who fought in the Second Lebanon War. In for Live TV interviewed one of the recipients, Dr. Yehuda David, who talked about the hard-fought battles he participated in and the courageous young men who fought beside him. Egypt has turned down an Israeli request to renew negotiations for the release of Gilad Shalit, fearing that talks with Hamas could harm their relationship with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. Meanwhile, Miki, mother of Woody Goldwasser, who together with Eldad Regev has been held captive by Hezbollah for over a year, lashed out at the government on Saturday. Foreign Minister Tsipi Livni has begun formulating realistic goals for the Washington Mideast Summit scheduled for November, following her meeting with Palestinian Prime Minister Salam Fayyad. In recent conversations with Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, Livni said that all parties would serve to benefit from reasonable expectations. Over one and a half million children will start school and kindergarten this morning. Police will be on high alert with the opening of the school year and forces will be deployed around educational institutions across the country. The Likud Party's official website was hacked over the weekend by a Muslim group that goes by the name of Hell Team. The site's homepage was replaced with the group's logo and the words, You are killing the Palestinians and we're killing your servers. Tennis player Shaha Peer will advance to the fourth round of the U.S. Opens after she captured a third set tiebreaker 7-5 to defeat 13th seeded Nikola Vydasova of the Czech Republic 6-4, 3-6 and 7-6. Elsewhere on InfoLive TV, the week that was, the stories behind the headlines. <laughs> InfoLive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? InfoLive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages, live from Jerusalem? InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.